Hello, my name is Father Boniface. It's a pleasure to take a few moments of your time and offer a little technique of Christian prayer meant for beginners. It's not bad for experts either because prayer is a relationship fundamentally. And this is just a way to get you started concretely in that relationship. A good starting point is just to close your eyes. We want to set aside 15, 20 minutes at least. And you might even want to just uh, set an alarm, maybe on vibrate or something soft so that it doesn't scare you after you move into a quieter interior place. Just to set that up, set an alarm. You might want to light a candle. Things like that are helpful. And you can do this uh, even as we're, uh, while you're watching the video. I'll try to lead you into it a little bit, but to start by closing your eyes. Jesus is a real person. And just imagine him sitting there with you, across from you at the table or in a chair in front of you, wherever you are. Just imagine Jesus. Jesus is gentle and full of compassion. He loves you and he knows you and is just happy to be with you. So let yourself enter into his presence. If you have an image, something like this one, it can help just to look into the eyes of Jesus. Go ahead and just look at this image. Really look into those eyes. They're eyes that look at you with love. He's looking at you. It's not just you looking at him. He's looking at you. Jesus is looking at you. And we can imagine, if you have an image, you can look at it. And these are, this is a, an icon. It's a, a particular kind of image that's made for prayer. A lot of different icons of Jesus in which he's looking right at you. And that's intentional. So you can look into his eyes. Or you can also just imagine his face and imagine these eyes looking at you. He looks at you with love. Another thing you can do is you see Jesus holds a book open. This happens to be written in Greek, so you're not recognizing the letters, but you can imagine a word there. Jesus is the word, and a word can draw us closer to his heart. And you see where he holds the word close to his heart, and a word can also draw, draw us closer. So we can use an image an image of his face looking into his eyes, we can use a word, a word that draws us close to him. And since Jesus is the word and his word has a content to it, it, it matters what, what words there are in the Bible. And so it's good to use a word that will just draw us closer to him. Like the name of Jesus. It's an ancient way to turn to him. Just the name of Jesus. You can say it slowly. That's a good way of calming down your interior, just repeating it slowly, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And we can find some rest there. You can use another word or phrase, God, come to my assistance. And you can mean it when you say it, God, come to my assistance. Maybe you're especially aware of something on your heart, something you need help with. God, come to my assistance. God, come to my assistance. Or Lord, help me. Lord, help me. You can make it a simple word, I need you. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Or it could be a simple word that helps to focus your attention at the heart of Christianity is love. And, and so just maybe the word love is a good one just to draw you close. Love. Love. And again, it's not so much thinking, trying to figure it out. It's not a matter of trying to go deep into these things and reflecting, which is a beautiful thing, but there's, a, there's another place for that. Right now, we're just trying to connect with Jesus. We're trying to connect with God. And that 
content, that word full of content, full of meaning, helps to just move our hearts, just like the image of a face, those eyes. It's silent, it's not a lot of words, just simple, just a simple turning to him. Maybe you can also hear him speaking to you and just saying, you are mine, you are mine. You can say it to him, you are mine. He can say it to you, you are mine, you are mine. And that's the basic technique is we're just going to place ourselves in a quiet place, close our eyes. Maybe you have an image in front of you. Maybe you light a candle. Those little things help. Set an alarm if you need to be somewhere or, you know, at least stretch it out 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. Give it some time because what's going to happen is it's going to be a lot of distraction when you when you start this, it's be a lot of stuff. Sometimes it helps if it's early in the morning. We our minds are tend to be a little bit less full of stuff. But if you stop at midday, you can count on it taking 5, 10, 15 minutes to kind of calm down, settle down. And during that process, and don't don't get frustrated if it takes a little bit of time or you you keep getting those distractions. You remember, oh God, I'm supposed, supposed to write that email. Oh yeah, I gotta, gotta call that person. Oh, I wonder if I left the stove on. Uh, I wonder what we're having for dinner tonight. Oh, I got to make a, an appointment for that. I got to, you know, those kind of things come up. And as whenever something comes up, the movement of prayer is just turning your attention back to him. And how do we do that concretely? That image, imagine his eyes. Imagine his eyes looking at you. Imagine the face of Jesus looking at you. Just turn your attention back to him gently, persistently. If you get distracted, no problem, just turn your attention back to him. It's an act of love. Every time I turn my attention to him, it's an act of love. Or might my, my, just be with that word, Jesus. Jesus, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. And that has a way of just calming the interior. We can be mindful of just breathing gently, steadily, intentionally just calming our bodies, being in a kind of relaxed position. Uh, you might slow yourself down and even just kind of start to snooze a little bit. Don't worry about that either. You, when you kind of come to whatever it is, just turn your attention to him again, Jesus. Look into his eyes again. Turn your, turn your heart to him. Something else comes up, that, that posture, whatever it is, you may have very important things. Maybe somebody's suffering. Maybe there's Somebody's with cancer, somebody, maybe you have something coming up, you're, you're anxious about something, whatever it is, it's fine. Just hold it out to him, but then focus on his eyes, look into his eyes. Just repeat that word, God help me, God come to my assistance. Lord help me, Jesus. Lord help me. Just simple prayer like that. Just keep giving it to him, keep giving it to him. And then... As you go into this, your, your heart rate really slows down, your breathing probably slows down, your interior is going to slow down. Don't chase any of the thoughts, don't follow after them, you know, like a, trains come into the station, you don't need to get on every train, birds fly by, you can let it go overhead, you know, this is how our thoughts, our feelings, the stuff that's coming up just kind of bubbles up and don't worry about any of it, just keep focusing on Jesus, your attention to Jesus. Don't fight the thoughts either. You might just take it, put it on the shelf. Just let it flow by. You don't have to control it. Don't judge yourself, any of that. Just keep turning your attention to him, Jesus. Turning your thoughts to him, looking into his eyes, being present to him, focusing your heart on the Lord. And after, you know, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, go continue for an hour if you want. Uh, and, but, but just uh, come out of it slowly. Give yourself a chance, just, just say, pray very slowly in our Father, and emerge from that, and just kind of cycle back into a normal, normal pace. Hope that's helpful for you. It's certainly a pleasure to be with you, and happy to uh, know that you're praying, and uh, please know that I'm praying with you. May the Lord bless you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.